Playing games is fun. And when you enjoy the games that you play, you'll naturally want to learn more about them so that you can have more fun. In the age of the internet, that can be as simple as just looking up tips and tricks on YouTube or just Googling more specific information to keep in your back pocket. But it's not always that simple. You'd think in an era where people literally had the capacity to reverse engineer a game fully without the source code and, you know, also just acquire the source code for a game, companies would be more open to just tell people about the more specific aspects of their games so that they don't mom spaghetti sensitive information all over the internet. In reality, they're just as reserved as ever, seemingly fine with letting people struggle to learn how the goddamn horses in their games work, save for some extremely basic information that's presented very vaguely. This has and continues to be a problem. For some reason, game devs just won't tell us about their goddamn game. Doesn't matter what the genre is either. You can find examples of critical information for a game being missing in the game anywhere. I brought up the horses in Breath of the Wild earlier, but they're just one entry in the long list of features that are never explained in depth, even though they're integral to basic gameplay in Breath of the Wild. Mind you, I'm not saying that there needs to be a 300 page explanation of the application of mechanics in play and how they're incorporated with coding and noting. That'd be ridiculous. But going into the finer details of something that's as important as, I don't know, uh, item durability in a game where all the weapons break, seems kind of important. And that's only an example of a single player game that's way less reliant on niche mechanics like this. This problem also exists in games that require hidden knowledge to be called upon very quickly in split second decisions like fighting games and shooters. So here's a question. Why can't we just see the hitboxes of characters in training modes already? What are you afraid of? Tekken is a great example of the very foundation of a game, the frame data in this case, being hidden away for an unjustifiable amount of time. How the hell are you supposed to know how to defend against an attack if you don't know the properties of it? <coughs> Smash Bros. fans. <coughs> like, yeah, you can look it up on the internet nowadays, but that's not an excuse to just leave this kind of information out of your game, especially when your fans have been very open about asking for these features for a long time. Like, people shouldn't have to data mine or mod a game to learn about the integral features of a game that are used very commonly. Best part, still can't see Frame Daddy yet. And you have to buy DLC Pack 3 to see it. I'm not angry at all. In shooters, it's the same kind of deal, but worse in a lot of cases, because sometimes you'd never learn about a mechanic without searching the entire game with a fine tooth comb. For example, hitbox shifting is a very common thing in shooters. It allows you to make yourself harder to kill by moving in a way that your enemy will have more trouble reacting to. But sometimes there is no indicator that your opponent is even doing it, like literally none. In games like Team Fortress 2, not understanding how hitboxes function is one of the biggest detriments you could possibly have because of how unintuitive it is. You almost never notice it unless someone told you. It's not something that the average person would notice or test. What about in games like RPGs, where you're just expected to know every detail about every pixel of a game's environment if you want to complete it fully? Like, for example, Xenoblade Chronicles X, which is one of my most favorite games of all time, is also one of the best games to come out on the Forsaken console that is the Wii U, and is also, without question, the better Xenoblade sequel, fight me. This problem actually occurs in all of the Xenoblade games to my knowledge, it's just it's most prevalent in X because of its massive world. You're given a quest, right? It's something along the lines of, please find this crystal that's necessary in order to save the lives of these blind, deaf, orphan puppies or whatever. You courageously accept this quest and ask where you can locate such a crystal. The quest giver replies, the continent of Asia. We're in the continent of Asia. I don't tell you. you Wanna save those disabled puppies? Well, fine, just scour an entire continent for an item that has varying chances to spawn, depending on location, uh, time, weather, and whether the game feels like letting it happen or not. Oh my God, just tell me the general location and spawning conditions of the item on my map, please. Referring back to my last video, a lot of the time it doesn't make sense to hide this information from the player, even from the standpoint of the developer. It's fine to have secrets or Easter eggs in your game, but you shouldn't expect the player to be content with not knowing information that you very clearly stated is important to complete the objective that you gave them without ramming their head into a wall repeatedly for hours on end or just giving up and looking it up on the internet. In the end, most of us manage to get by, but the process of taking yourself away from a game to learn more about it can be very disengaging. I really just want to be able to learn more about the games that I'm invested in while playing them. That's really it. And I don't think that devs do enough to immerse their players in that regard 
nowadays. So, yeah. And with that, I'd like to say thank you for watching the video. Have anything to add? Maybe a mechanic that you think has never been explained correctly in a game that you enjoy? Why not tell me about it in the comments below? Like this video? Well, why not like it? And if you'd like to see more from me, subscribe and hit the bell to get notified of when I upload next. I'm also on Twitter and Twitch, and as always, my community on Twitch is as wonderful as ever. That's about it. See ya.